is the idea that physical traits and adaptations, while those are important for survival, aren't the only thing that increases the chances of an individual or an entire species to survive and to continue to reproduce. Group behavior is another very important factor that can very much increase the chances that an individual or an entire species can survive and reproduce. One of those group behaviors actually has a number of different names, including flocking, schooling, and herding. This type of grouping behavior is one in which animals will aggregate. That means they group together into flocks like birds do, schools like fish do, or herds like many four-legged mammals do. The benefits of this aggregating behavior is to be able to communicate and connect with each other to search for resources like food, shelter. Also, it reduces the chances of you being singled out and then getting eaten by some predator. The whole idea of strength in numbers. You're more intimidating and it's harder to get at you if you're buried in the mass of others. Now, pack hunting is when carnivorous animals, that's animals that eat meat only, like hyenas up in the corner or dolphins down at the bottom, uh, that decide to hunt together in groups. And these groups contain both a division of labor and role specialization. That means they each have different jobs, different positions to compare it to like a sports team even for each member to engage in to make sure everybody gets to eat. For example, let's look at dolphins. Bottlenose dolphins have these kind of roles, have these kind of strategies. The bottlenose dolphins, what they'll do is they'll have one member who is the driver. And what the driver's job is, is to run after the fish, scare him, going, ah, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you. I mean, he does it with his fins and sounds and stuff, but that's what he's trying to do, scare the fish to get them running. And the fish, because they see a threat, they're like, oh my goodness, let's run, because that, that dolphin's going to eat us. And they start going, not realizing they're about to hit a wall of dolphins, waiting for them, trapping them, not allowing them to escape. So some of them, they start to get really worried, and they jump, they, they break off from the pack, and they fly up into the air, jumping out of the water, trying to escape the dolphins, not knowing that after they do, the driver and the barrier dolphins are following these ones that are trying to break away, jumping up in the air and eating them. It's a pretty impressive strategy, and it's one they do over and over and over again. But because of the complexity of the strategy and animals' limited ability to communicate with each other, it is kind of a rare behavior. Yes, there are many examples in the wild of pack behavior, but if you look at all living organisms, very, very few of them do pack hunting because they have to figure out how to communicate and recognize that together as a group, they can get more food than if they're individual and hunting on their own. Another important group behavior is migrating. Migrating is when animals move from one place to another at certain times of the year or during a particular period of their life cycle. So when you see birds migrating at the same time every year in the same direction and then later on in the year, they all come back. And the reason why they do this is because seasons change so much. So they might be in one area of the planet or country or state and maybe that area is great for mating laying eggs has a nice comfortable temperature has lots of food and resources until the weather changes and then it's not so good for those things in fact it might actually cause them to start dying out so they've just learned over time to as a species move go someplace else where they can mate where they can lay eggs where they can find food but then as that area starts to change seasons and become a bad place for them to live, then they go back to the other place that, as the season changes, starts to get better. So every season, they're able to recognize when they need to move to a better location, and then depending on the season, whether they need to go back to their, their old location or not. And the final group behavior I'm gonna talk about is swarming. Swarming is a colony, and it's the idea that some organisms have figured out that a colony can solve problems that would be unthinkable for individual members. Kind of like pack hunting, trying to do things that just wouldn't work right on your own, or in swarms cases, 
accomplish things that would be physically impossible to do, such as finding the shortest path to the best food source, um, allocating workers to different tasks, uh, or even defending a territory from neighbors. Like ants and bees, one ant, one bee, or horrible at finding food sources. They're actually horrible at defense. But if you get a thousand of them, or even a hundred in the case of bees, now all you need is a few of them to find good food and let the others know, hey, I found it. They find it by accident. They just get totally lucky. But if you throw enough bees at the job, they'll figure out where the best food is. Same thing with defense. One bee is not going to be good defense of the honey. You might be scared of one bee. Someone else may not be. Um, an animal who wants the honey that the bees are making. One bee ain't going to stop that bear from eating their honey. A hundred might. A hundred will get any organism, any bear, any human to think twice about going anywhere near the nest. And this is something they do with swarm intelligence. That means they actually have um, plans, strategies, uh, goals that they only do as a group that only happens as a group because it is an individual they have almost no intelligence they're almost completely un incapable of surviving unless they're part of the swarm part of the colony and that's it for group behavior you're going to be investigating a little bit deeper how these different group behaviors appear and work out in the in the wild uh, but for now that's it if you have any questions let me know in class and thank you for watching. Life's too unpredictable, take control of